Damn, so I just got out of Kingsman the Golden Circle, and I thought that that was really a honestly really fun sequel. I don't know if it tops the first one, but I think in terms of establishing more of the universe that we got in the first Kingsman movie and how these characters kind of grow in this movie from the first one, I really thought that this was a really solid sequel that, like the first film, is not clever in terms of a in terms of story and character but in terms of visuals and style i thought that both of the films are very distinct from each other and from other action movies and i love how this feels like a james bond movie but it doesn't feel like a complete parody of it um in both movies and i think that kingsman 2 really did a good job of having these characters come back and elaborate on them but elaborate on the universe. For example, how we get the statesmen in this movie, the Kentucky statesmen, who are formed in Louisville, Kentucky. And instead of having tuxes like the Kingsmen do, they sell its liquor. <laughs> and I think that it's hilarious that they've all got different names of different liquors. Like, Jeff Bridges' character name is Ch uh, Champagne, or Champ. And then you've got Channing Tatum's character, Tequila. I, I think that it's so hilarious that they use these names and made it seem so country in terms of contrast to the uh, Kingsman. I thought that, that was really great with the two different teams um, conversing with each other. I thought that was really funny. And I thought that how these characters go along in the story I think was interesting. Like, the statesmen are not always prevalent in it, but I thought that they were good, and I thought that it was a good elaboration on the world, and how they established it in the first one, and now they we get another view of the world. And I really thought that that was a smart way to create a, a sequel that actually delves farther into the world and the characters. And I thought that, in terms of the stakes, we see this in the trailer, but um, Julianne Moore's character's character Poppy is trying to destroy, or she literally does destroy all of the Kingsmen, at, like all of the different areas the Kingsmen are in, and I thought that in terms of the stake, stakes in this movie building, I thought that, that was really good that we get uh, like all of these characters just killed off, some of them that we never met, but just the entire group of Kingsmen just killed, and then you've got just Eggsy and a couple other people left and I really liked that that immediately brought us into a sense of tension because Julianne Moore's character Poppy is very in interesting in a way like Julianne Moore I think is a great actress and I think that she does good here it's a little over the top but it makes sense in this kind of movie I guess that she's a little insane and her her quirk is like she loves 50s stuff. So, like, she mentions in the movie, like, yeah, I grew up with Happy Days and Grease and American Graffiti. And it it's kind of, it's, okay, it's interesting that she likes all this stuff and, like, her, her layer is just all these different 50s things, like a 50s diner, a 50s hairdressing place, and, like, a 50s store. And it's, it's really interesting in just terms of how this character is. I mean, she's not overly explained. Um, but I guess, to be fair, Samuel L. Jackson's character, Valentine, wasn't overly explained either in the first one. They just are like these old Bond villains where they're just kind of there and are established, but not in a way where you really get their full motive. It's just like they're just goofy, goofy villains. And I thought that she was a pretty good, goofy villain. And she was intimidating in terms. Like, she was kind of just an intimidating, sadistic person, but with a happy attitude towards everything. And I thought it was interesting how she played it. It wasn't bad at all. I thought she was really good. But I just thought it was a little too crazy. But I don't think, like... Like, it's hard to argue against it, because I feel like that makes sense in this universe. But to me, it just felt a little crazy. Like, too crazy for me. Because um, Samuel Jackson's character, Valentine, in the first one was pretty... Um, pretty more normal. I mean, he 
he still was was a villain and pretty wacky, but he didn't go as over the top. So, but like I said, it, it is it isn't an over t over the top spy movie world. So I mean, it it still makes sense. I just feel like I liked Samuel Jackson's character a little more than Julianne Moore's, even though they're both great actors. They're both amazing, but I think that the first film probably tops it off in villains, and I liked how, like I said, it establishes the world, it establishes the characters, and I like that the story is actually kind of close to the first one, but I felt like they did enough different with it, just having them, having the Kingsmen all get killed, and then having Eggsy go and go with the Statesmen and try to go, they both join to form and destroy a bigger threat than having to do it on their own for Axian characters to do it on their own. I thought that was really good. And I thought that in terms of style, this was cool how the weapons like in the first movie are used. Like you get new cool weapons like one that's like a suit, a briefcase and like it's a gun. It's a briefcase gun or like a laser lasso which was so cool. Because like you throw it guy would fly through it, just cut himself in half. And I thought that was so, in terms of just, like, style, that was such a cool weapon and such a cool way of showing action. Like, I thought that was really cool. And I think the action in this is pretty good, too. I don't know if... I might like the first one a little bit more still, but to me, this didn't ever fall in terms of the bad sequel category. I thought it was really, really entertaining and even if I didn't like it, I thought it would be fine. I didn't think it would be bad even if I didn't like it. But I thought that this really did did do a good job of having these characters elaborated more and the world, elabor the world elaborated more and having more of stakes involved. So I thought it really did a good job with all of those things. It really improves, even though it's not a better movie, I don't think, than the first one, in my opinion. But I think it's still good. I think it's still worth checking out. The only thing, like I said, I would argue against is just that it is a little too long. And uh, Julianne Moore's character, like her acting is fine, but I think just the character is a little too wacky, I guess. Even though, like I said, it's in a wacky universe, so it's hard to argue against it and for it, I guess, for me. So I, I really don't know. But those are really pretty small complaints, like the length, it felt like there were a couple a little bit towards the end where I was just like, oh, this is kind of dragging a little bit, but then action set up, action set up, and then it just kept going until the end, and I thought that was great, and I thought that all the new additions were really fun, even if they have a lot of screen time or a little bit of screen time, I thought they were all fun having all these big actors come in, and they were all pretty funny and pretty wacky, like, they felt like they deserved to be in this world with the other characters from the first one. So yeah, this, and I liked how it elaborated on the first film and how it connected it, because there were moments where you didn't see these happen in the first movie, but they connect moments that really work. I thought that it was cool seeing another point of view of something from the first movie, but you and you connected it really well. I thought that was good too. So overall, I thought Kingsman 2 was pretty good. It was a pretty great action sequel, and action movies are not fully in-depth with with terms of characters and plot, but in terms of style and fun, I thought that this was great. Oh, and Elton John was really, really hilarious in this movie, too. Like, every time he was in the movie, it cracked me up so much. I There are some standout moments with him that I just, I, I loved. I thought it was awesome. And it's just so funny how the villain just kept him locked up and he was just there to play music but then he just keeps getting gradually pissed as it goes along like he gets more and more pissed until the end and it, he breaks loose I think that it's it was really a great uh, cameo from him or I guess you could say glorified cameo because he's in it in a, in a lot of scenes but he's not in him for a long time but he was really really awesome in this movie but overall, yeah, it was just a fun sequel, and I think it's really one that a lot of people will enjoy. People will probably hate it, too. Like, I can see people thinking it's so similar to the first one, it's too long. But 
for me personally, I thought it really did a good job of elaborating on the characters in the world and having such great humor and having great action and cool style changes to the first one. So overall, I just thought it was really great. Uh, thanks guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time.